Mo, disappointing today, mate. <laughs> you start every interview like that. <laughs> You've done it twice today. You've started it twice today. <laughs> um, look, man, it's just t today. I'm going to cut straight to the chase here, right? I, I, I refrain from shouting Wenger in or Wenger out because I, I feel like both of those don't really present a, a sensible analysis of the situation and they're not helpful. Just like the two aeroplanes today in the first half, they're not helpful. Today, what I saw really made me um, realise in more clarity than I've ever seen it before that the players simply do not seem to be playing for the manager. And that's a really, really worrying thing. Irrespective of how talented a manager is or what you think about a manager, when the players stop playing for you, you've got two choices. You either replace an entire squad, we're talking about 18, 20, 25 players, or you replace one manager. And from so what you're saying then, replace the manager. Uh, listen, it's what I Leicester have done and they've, they've got... Um produced brilliant results since it's what Swansea have done and they've started to move up it's what Hull have done and they've started to move listen, up Robbie, is this what we need to do you're, you're cutting to the you're I'm cutting to the chase shall we this get is, rid of the manager is that what you're is, saying this is not about my personal opinion on Arsene Wenger this is just a factual thing if the players are not playing for a manager doesn't matter if that manager's name is Wenger if that manager's name is Guardiola whatever it is you, you can say it you want him to go no 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 no, no I, or, or Robbie, he listen. should all right he I want the go. players to play for the manager and I want us to win leagues. But if they're not going to do it, you've only got one option. You know, all roads point to he has to go if the players continue to do that. They were not playing for him today. The thing that the, yeah. diff the difference between us and West Brom today was that all of those players in every single challenge, in every single second ball, every single aerial contest were playing for their manager. And we were not. And that's all it boiled down to. Even if we had somehow won 3-1 today with a couple of own goals and a dodgy penalty, it wouldn't have mattered because we were not playing for the manager. And that was abundantly clear to me today. And that is the most worrying thing. So look, I'm sorry, but if, if the, the, you know, I think there's maybe two or three players that I would say are an exception from what I'm saying there. But if, if it's going to be to that level where most of the people aren't playing for the manager, then of course you've got to go because you're not going to replace a 25-man squad, are you? And listen, man, the first half was a goddamn air show today. The second half was a funeral. But the air show, it's just, it is a bit laughable now. When people get out on their feet and protest in big numbers, that shows something. You've got a bit of credibility there because people are there physically. You can actually see how many people care about a cause. When it's an aeroplane in the sky, it takes one person with deep pockets. And it did get a bit laughable. Listen, I just want now the club to do the right thing for the fans. And just at least be honest. If they, if they, I personally think that it's already been decided. And I, my fear. What way? In that I think the, the players even almost probably know this. But Arsene Wenger and the board probably have had a conversation where it says, look, if you deliver fourth place, we'll offer you the new contract. We'll do it around this sort of time. Blah blah. blah. If you win the FA Cup, we'll offer you the two, new, two, two year contract. Whatever it might be. I think they've had that conversation and they know what's going on. Just do the right thing. Don't think about season ticket renewals and all of that sort of nonsense because it's really becoming quite a horrible atmosphere for fans. We come out of games, there's arguments, people are fighting each other, banners going up all the time. This is meant to be about what goes on on the pitch and it's just not fun for us anymore. And my worry is that even the players know what's coming. And I feel like maybe the players won't change, which is why we saw that level of performance today. The players cannot look at the manager coming off that pitch today and say, do you know what, I really tried for you today, boss. And historically, we've seen it many times in the Premier League. In this country, when a manager's up against the ropes and he's really, really struggling, players come out and they put a performance together to really support their manager, not through words, but through their football. So listen, the club really need to come out and do the fans a favour and actually just say to us, do you know what, we have decided we are offering a two-year contract now you do what you want to do in terms of you still going to come you still going to back the arsenal or are you just going to say that's it i've lost interest with this club or if or if it's a case of look we've decided if he wins the fa cup we're offering the contract if he finishes fourth whatever it might be just give us the decency of knowing where we stand because ultimately it's not a nice environment and the clarity will at least cut that out okay cool.